name is Lauren Vitale and on this episode of Lauren in the Kitchen I'm going to show you how to make a wonderful hot drink, my white chocolate mocha. It's easy and simple, requires just four ingredients which are some heavy cream, whole milk, some good quality white chocolate and some strong brewed coffee. That's it. Now I know this recipe is very simple and I did debate whether I should share this recipe with you or not, but I figure since this is such a craze, uh, uh, you know, all over fancy coffee shops, I figured I'd share with you my version that I make at home because I don't have a fancy coffee shop anywhere around me, so this is what I make whenever I want some white chocolate hot mocha. And this is how simple it is. Got a small saucepan, if you want to stay on that'd be great. I'm going to put in here my cream and my milk. And then I'm going to wait for that to come to a very gentle boil. In the meantime, I'm just taking my white chocolate that I just chopped in small little pieces and I'm putting that in this container. And I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to wait for that to come to a slight boil and then I'll show you the next step. My milk mixture is ready, so I'm just going to pour it over my chocolate. And I'm just going to let that sit there for a few minutes. I'm not going to do anything else to it. I'm just going to let it sit there for three minutes and then we'll move on to the next step, which is pretty much kind of putting the whole thing together. That should be ready. I'm just going to give this a whisk because that should melt the chocolate really, really easy. And you could sweeten this up with some sugar if you wanted to. Uh, I'm not going to because I think that white chocolate does provide a nice bit of sweetness as it is. So this is how easy it is. Just pour some. I pour about halfway up my mug and then I continue halfway up with my coffee. Now this makes a great hot drink all year long, but if you want to feel a little bit festive and if you want to feel a little more in the holiday spirit, this is what you do. You take a candy cane, unwrap it obviously, a couple of marshmallows, because one's fine, two's better, put them right on there, and that can be your stir and it adds flavor, obviously it's going to add sweetness from the marshmallow, and a little bit of that mint kind of goes through it and it's fantastic. You've got to just try it. Look at that. It starts to melt it. And you could also top this with a bunch of marshmallows if you wanted to, but I'm going to give this a try. That is so, so good. And I'm making a mess. But that's okay. I can't because it's my house. It's my kitchen. My mess to clean. Mm. I hope that you do give this a try because it is really, really good. It's really easy to do. It's ingredients you might already have on hand. And this is a really cool trick. It's really good. Well, mm. go to LaurenInTheKitchen.com to get the recipe. Make yourself a cup. Enjoy it with a nice movie. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.